So Hudson, it's a pleasure to have you here. Um, so if you guys don't know, Hudson is actually 22 years old, and he is um, age appropriate to date for all the girls out there. Ha ha ha. It's a, is that okay, Mom? <laughs> um, just kidding. So Hudson is 11 years old. Um, what a great accomplishment, Hudson, at 11, to be the lead actor on Fresh Off the Boat. So I think it's only appropriate because the episode was about basketball. Who is your favorite basketball star? Well, my favorite is Jeremy Lin, obviously. Are you paid to say that? Huh? Are you paid to say that? No. <laughs> uh, okay. Have you ever met Jeremy Lin? I was going to, like, a few days ago, except I had to fly out to L.A. because he's a Lakers, so I couldn't make it. Um, so I, I noticed that there's a special guest appearance of your father in this episode. Yeah. Um, can you tell us who's a better actor, you or your father? That's oh, you think a you're tough bro one. <laughs> <laughs> For him. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, I can't. I can't answer that. <laughs> all, all good. All good. Um, so I think it was only appropriate to ask because you are at Google today. Yeah. Um, and everyone says Google knows everything about everyone. Um, so what is the most interesting thing you've ever Googled about yourself? I haven't really Googled about myself, really. What's your favorite thing to Google? YouTube. <laughs> is awesome, because Google thing? owns YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> That's the right answer. Is there a specific video you like to watch on YouTube? Well, as my mom said, Minecraft, or sometimes tips for like games and stuff. Um, so uh, I'm a big fan of the show. And when I talk to my friends who are also fans of the show, they always talk about how great you are. And a lot of, a lot of my friends say, like, oh, he's so cute. He's so adorable. Um, now that we're like getting close to the end of the season, this I think was the second to the last episode of the season. Like, how have the last few months totally changed your life? How how does it feel to be a celebrity? I mean, I don't think of myself as a celebrity. I think of myself as a well-known child. <laughs> <laughs> that is the best answer I've for that question. But I mean, the last few months have been extremely different. I mean. I've been stopped on the street, and people have been taking pictures with me. And everybody's just been like kind of congratulating me all the time, saying the show is amazing. But I mean, my friends and everybody, like those kind of people, they like, they've been treating me the same. They're just proud, and they're like happy, and they're like really excited for the show all the time. So I guess that's a good segue. So how does it feel going to school? Because you just came from school today, right? Yeah. So how does it feel when you go to school after the show? Do you feel different? Do teachers treat you differently? Not really. I mean, they've asked about it like once or twice, but they don't treat me differently. It's a job to be equal, really. So you don't, you don't get a free, a free pass to extra credit for being super amazing and talented on Fresh Off the Boat. It's not an extra 10 points on an exam. I wish, but no. <laughs> um, so one of the great things about the show is that it deals with Asian American issues. That's like a big theme of the show. And you know, uh, uh, there were a couple of episodes where like, there was one episode where um, your character, Eddie, was called a chink by another classmate. There's another episode where a bunch of students at, a, at lunch like uh, uh, complain about the smelly food that your mom packed for you. And that's why you, you know, ask your mom to get you some Lunchables so it doesn't smell up the, the um, lunchroom. So um, just being part of the show, like, what kind of lessons have you learned about being Asian American? And what other issues have you learned about by be just being part of the show? I mean, I've known about a few of them, like how people, like, don't adjust to your food right away or about, like, how those, like, upset, like, not, like, nice names that people call different races. But, I mean... I didn't know that word before, and there's like other things where it's like, people nowadays in my school, they weren't that like harsh, and they weren't as like cruel, and they didn't call me names or anything. They just kind of asked questions that were polite, like politely, not like straight up. 
you know, you you have um, a tough role to fill, I think, for the Asian American society at, at 11. So we really appreciate what you're doing <laughs> out there. That, I, that was a serious um, so funny. anecdote. <laughs> Um, <laughs> so you don't even have to say anything and everyone laughs at you. <laughs> I, I wish that was something I could do. You're going to have to teach me one day. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay. Um, so, you know, we, we talk about these big shoes you have to fill and, um, you know, we've been reading and we know that the last time an Asian American show was on the air was about 20 years ago. Um, I think that was called All American Girl, for those of you who might have watched it before. Um, and you're not even 20 years old. Um, so how does that pressure feel for you having to live up to such high expectations? I mean, I don't really think about the expectations like people have on me or something, or how like Asians think if this messes up, they're going to have to wait another 20 years till the next one or something. <laughs> This is just an experience that I want to go through, have fun with, and just make it last as long as I can. We're supportive of you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to switch over to some Dory and live questions. So we'll take the first Dory question. Hudson, what would it take to be cast as your long-lost cousin on the show? Uh, I actually have no idea. There have been, like... One of the episodes where like my cousins came, but long last cousin, I I don't know. <laughs> Got it. We'll we'll send the bad news to Roger who asked the question. <laughs> um, if there are any live questions, we have mics set up, so please line up um, so that we could capture your question on the recording. We have one live right there. You, if you could guest appear on any show in the world right now, what show would that be for you? Any show. Any show. At all. Yep, any show at all. Modern Family. That's a great choice. <laughs> great choice. Thanks for coming out. <laughs> any other live? If there are no other live questions, we'll take the next story. So the next question is, hi, all the way from Shanghai. I'm a big fan of your show. If you could name the top three things from the show that are really, really rang true for you as you grew up, what would they be? I mean, they're not like, some of them were not like direct, like the show, I don't really, anything, uh, sorry, I can't talk right now. <laughs> the stuff on the show hasn't really happened to me directly, but there's been like things on the show that are kind of like, kind of relate to me. Like, the part where I always ask my parents for, like, foods that everybody else has, like, as in peer pressure or something. That's, like, one of the episodes where I ask for Lunchables. And then a time where I had to stick up for myself at one point. It didn't really get that big, but, I mean, yeah, it was really a long time ago. I can't really remember it. <laughs> and I think, <laughs> sorry. And then me playing basketball with all my friends and, like, being in a court. That kind of happened to me before, but that's about it. <laughs> uh, we have a live question. Um, <coughs> ah. sorry. On uh, one of your episodes, you got straight A's. Yeah. And uh, I don't know if somebody can cue the music. I was wondering if you could do the pimp walk. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we can't get the music, but if you can drop us a beat, do you, do you, do you mind showcasing the walk? We got any musicians out there? You want to just do the walk? Uh, I mean, like that one? We need the music. The one where I like wave my hands in the air? Or <laughs> There's like a few different types of pimp walk. Like everybody kind of has their own way of doing it. Do you want, do you want to teach Bina how to do the pimp walk? <laughs> I mean. You want to learn? Only if, uh, right. Hudson, uh, only, if uh, only if Hudson's willing to teach. I'm fine. Yeah. He, are you up for the challenge? I, I guess so, now that you put me in a, this spot. <laughs> Don't you love it? I mean, it's not that hard. Just, like, kind of keep your shoulders back. <laughs> you could, like, put your hands like that. Or, like, go like that. And just kind of walk like this. <laughs> Is 
That was great. This is gonna be on YouTube later. <laughs> so we could edit that out. So. <laughs> All right. Uh, do we have another live question? Hi. Does Hudson. it involve me dancing or doing anything? <laughs> um. So who is your favorite character to work for on the show? Work and with? Yes. And um, how is it living in LA for the show compared to New York City? I mean that. The question about who's my favorite is really hard. They're all amazing. They're really nice, fun. I mean, I can't really choose. <laughs> <laughs> but living out in LA means that I'm closer to them so we can hang out, go eat dinner, talk about what's happening in school and stuff, and like about the show, obviously. That's fun, it's amazing. Okay, we're gonna, um, should we take the Dory? Yeah. Okay, um, so this question was voted um, pretty highly. So um, Hudson, if you could create your own episode of Fresh Off the Boat, what would it be about? Oh, <laughs> that's hard. I mean, maybe it would be where I had like a field trip or something and then something wild would happen and I'd end up meeting like Nicole on the trip Who's Nicole? Oh, the girl that I have a crush on in the show. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought she was another girl. <laughs> <laughs> and then while I'm there, like kind of like what happened before when I was in like a detention episode, we probably like talk a little bit. And then, I don't know, maybe my brothers would show up on a different field trip. Okay. I can't, it's hard. There's a lot of different things. Or maybe I'd meet my cousins again but then they'd be like girls and then be like exactly the opposite of us. <laughs> and then we'd be like feuding all the time. But yeah. I, I, I would watch that episode. I, I, would, I think, would you watch it? Yes. Of course. Okay. Yeah, I got two viewers right here. I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's another uh, question on the Dory. Uh, Hudson, do you get all the jokes and references on the show or do you get your father or mother to explain the jokes to you? I mean, I get most of them, but there's some where I have to ask my parents, like, uh, what does this word or this sentence mean? <laughs> what, what's an example of a word or sentence? Like, what's an example? I mean, I think there's one, but I don't really remember it. Uh, Do you remember what a Game Boy is or a Tetris? Yeah, I had one. Oh. Nice. <laughs> nice. Uh, we have a live question. Yeah, I just wanted to know a little bit about your favorite food preferences and whether you've gone to Bauhaus and what you like to eat there and um, whether you read Fresh Off the Boat. Well, I have gone to Bauhaus, and I've only ate, like, one or two of the special things. And it's really good. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I have read most of Fresh Off the Boat, but my dad won't let me read any <laughs> of the rest. <laughs> <laughs> um, and... Like, what do you mean my food preferences? Just in terms of, like, what you liked when you were eating at Bauhaus or what your favorite Asian food is. My favorite Asian food would be sushi. <laughs> by far. Um, but at Bauhaus, I like the, like, the one with, like, the meat, the chicken thing. It's like yeah. fried chicken bao? Kind of, yeah. I don't remember. <laughs> I think my dad knows. Um, another question from the Dory. Which episode has been your favorite to film? My favorite would be the one where I met Scotty Pippen. Oh. <laughs> I talked really fast. What, what was that like? Well, it was really cool because I got to meet him. He signed some stuff for me. We took pictures. But then he was really nice. And so <laughs> me and my um, brothers, like my on-show brothers, we played basketball with him. And I actually got a few shots off of him. <laughs> <laughs> but he was distracted again. <laughs> but, yeah. So do you, do you have a favorite basketball team? It would most likely be whichever team Jeremy Lin's on. So oh, OK. So it just goes back to Jeremy Lin. Yeah. Does Scotty Pippen know that? He knows that. <laughs> Broke his heart. You break girls' hearts, you break Scotty Pippen's heart. <laughs> Heartbreaker. Uh, we also have a live question over here. Hi. What do you want to be when you grow up? Um, if I'm not an actor when I grow up, 
I uh, kind of want to be a scientist or something. Yeah. We uh, we could reserve a spot for you here. <laughs> we we have fried chicken. <laughs> Eddie Eddie Huang's uh, has been here doing oh. this oh, kind cool. of talk. Yeah. I think his mom just requested that you make, put that in writing yeah. that he has a job a job out here. We'll talk later. He's an attorney, so this works out really well. Attorney, mom, <laughs> mom, attorney, and it's on recording. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> We're gonna edit a lot. <laughs> um, are there any more live questions, or should we continue with the Dory? Okay. Um, so the next question is: I grew up in Kansas in the mid '80s, and what show depicts your early time? Um, what show depicts from the early time from the 80s that really resonated with you from the 80s? Um, how much fun is it to try to recreate the mid-90s on screen? Um, and I don't even know if you know some of these examples. Do you know what Pert Plus Shampoo is? Well, now I do. Now you do. Okay, so it's shampoo. Do you know what a minivan is? You should know what a minivan is. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then, you know, baby fat, clothes. Oh, you well, know them? I have a friend in school who always wears that kind of... Swag. Okay. okay, so is there something in the 80s that really um, rang true to you? If you remember the 80s, if you, if you, um, and then they want to know. Wait, I remember the <laughs> 80s? <laughs> um, if they want to know how much fun it is to recreate the 90s. Well, it's a lot of fun to recreate the 90s. I mean, it's really cool seeing what it was like back then. But about the 80s? <laughs> it's too far back. I wasn't. Alive. We remember the 80s. I, yeah. Do you, should we tell you about the 80s? <laughs> I mean, it's okay. That's fair. Has, That's fair. Does your has your father ever had a success per? Awesome. Sure. Um, so next time we'll make sure we, we bring it up, up to 2020 or like, you know, in the 2000s for you. Second time you come to Google, okay? Hmm. You promise? Yeah. You'll come back? Okay. Um, so if you could request a guest appearance of any actor on the show, who would you pick to work with? Wait, guest appearance of any actor on that show? On, on your show. show. Yeah. Wait, a guest appearance? Wait, aren't they already... Like, if you would want, if any other actor could come on to Fresh Off the Boat and play your co-star, who would it be? Any other actor? Could I choose somebody on my show? They're already on your show. So somebody... <laughs> <laughs> That's a fair fair question. Fair question, Hudson. It's kind of like a, when Scotty Pippen was a guest or your father was yeah. a guest. Oh, like, what's another yeah. person you would want on the show? Yeah. <laughs> your sister wants to be on the show. <laughs> Do you want to come up? You can come up. Okay. It might be my brother, or maybe one of my other friends, or something. <laughs> Your mom, for okay. those on VC who can't hear, um, Hudson's mom just made a request to be on the show. <laughs> and a job at Google. And a job at Google. Okay. <laughs> Um, okay, another question involving your mom. Uh, did your mom ever try to stop you from becoming an actor? I mean, she's mostly supported me on whatever decision I've made. But she did warn me <laughs> um, not to become too full of myself or to be like Justin Bieber acting all like... <laughs> <laughs> or Miley Cyrus being like all yes. running around getting in trouble or something. What do you think about tattoos, Mom? Or ear piercings. <laughs> it's negotiable, Hudson. Just remember that. Anything in life is negotiable. <laughs> um, do you have a favorite line from the show? I mean, I have, I've had a few. I think my favorite line was... They were all pretty cool. I mean, uh, I think it's the one where it's like, it's not Shaq's shoe, but it'll do. Because it, <laughs> it, it, it was really funny. And it kind of made me seem like 
really picky. And I don't know, it just stuck with me for some reason. So we, um, we recently were reading a little bit about you, and we learned that your favorite subject in school is Mandarin. Is that true? Well, because it's really easy for me. Okay. <laughs> great answer, great answer. Um, so have you ever tried to rap in Mandarin? Or is I mean, I've been told to by one of my teachers that I used to have, but I failed epically. Do you want to do it for us? There's been requests in the audience. But I don't know how to. That's why I failed epically. <laughs> I didn't fail Mandarin. I got an A+. Plus. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, any other live questions? Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. Sometimes. <laughs> More of to my um, mom's mom and sometimes to my grandma, who's right there. Aww. Um, okay, well, so I guess if there's no more live questions, we've ran through some of the, most of the Dory questions. Um, we want to um, wrap up the conversation with an interesting round of questions. We like to call this Mina and Shulpa's rapid fire round. So what we're going to do is we're going to ask you a question in Mandarin. And we're going to test how well you mm. understand Mandarin. And you have to respond in with one-word answers, OK? Oh, hey, God. But we get to use Google Translate. Yeah, because I don't <laughs> speak Mandarin. I was just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but we are going to ask you um, a question. And what we want you to do is you, we want you to either give choose between one or two or give us a one-word answer. All right. OK? Are you ready? Yeah. Yeah? Are you a little nervous? Yeah. You should be. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. This is going to be fun, okay? Yeah. Um, so our first question for you is Google or Bing? Google. Yeah. Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> <coughs> Biggie. Bing is unreliable. <laughs> uh, <coughs> disclaimer, we didn't put him up today. <laughs> <laughs> Making sure. Um, Biggie or Tupac? Biggie. Favorite food? Sushi. Favorite subject in school? Science. It's changed. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite part about being famous? I'm not famous. It's very humbling. Who's your role model? Aw. Dad. <laughs> What's your favorite line in the show? I said that already. What's your favorite sibling in the show? Who is your favorite sibling in the show? Oh. I mean, they both have really good qualities. Like, <laughs> like, like one of them I like him because he's really fun and enjoyable. And the other one I like him because he's a good kid and he's really good at acting. Okay. And so he's kind of like a kid role model. OK. Um, somebody already asked this, but uh, when I grow up, I want to be just making sure their answers are consistent. What do you want to be when you grow up? Scientist. Okay. Just, <laughs> just testing, making sure it's the same. When I say Hudson, you say? What do I say? <laughs> All right, I'm going to wrap you another line, OK? As I walk through the valleys of the shadows of depth, I take a look at myself and I don't know what I'm supposed to say. Okay. <laughs> say you just finish the line. Just finish the line. OK. Do you got another rap line for him? <laughs> I, I don't, but I have a regular question. All right. <laughs> we'll just move on then. <laughs> um, the key to being a good actor is? To work hard. Who has more swagger, mom or dad? Mom. I mean, depending on what type of swagger. <laughs> okay. I think that's we that that's uh, all of our questions. So we would like to thank Hudson Yang.
Uh, we do have a gift for you, so can we bring up the gift for Hudson? That's because you picked Google as your favorite Google engine. swag! <laughs> I got a, a Google NYC shirt. Oh, uh, everyone gets to see what you got? Okay. Yes, they do. We hope you like it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Cool. Okay. Thank you all for coming. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks. Thanks for coming. Do we get to shake your hand? Awesome. Thank you. Thanks for your thanks to your family members that came to make it out. <laughs> what an exit Hudson made! Great round of applause for Hudson and Thank you so much for coming out here.